Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as the personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me if I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will. Please and thank you. Let's go ahead and ground. All right. So I wanted to do like a new segment. So I think this is going to be called, Was It Ever Real? Was It Ever Real? So any type of, so basically what that means is any type of thoughts that were ever displayed, thoughts or words that were ever, anything, any emotions that were ever displayed to you, anything this person ever told you, anything that happen in this type of situation ship kind of part ship whatever was it ever real did they really mean it okay i was gonna do the kipper but steer saying put that down tell them you to use the personal okay i'm gonna go ahead and use the personal deck okay let's see if it was ever real anything they what did they have to say Okay, first thing that flipped over, ascending. Okay, so that tells me some stuff that this person told you was definitely a lie. They were in their lower vibrational energy. Okay, then we have dream. They've been getting a lot of dreams about you. So it's like confirmation to them that this was real, but they didn't know it was real. So if you ever talked to them about some type of twin flame or trying to explain to them or just said, hey, this is what it is, you go look it up. Because they both felt, like, you both felt this passionate connection. They, they've they been getting a lot of dreams now. This person has some bad habits. I don't know where that just saw, went, but I saw it. I keep on seeing it. Okay, and let's put that on the floor. Empress. Okay. They know that you are their empress and they are your emperor. But they have to ascend. And they're, they're uh, um, okay, there goes bad habits again, shuffling. So, yeah. They had a, a, a lot of bad habits. A, a lot of addictive behaviors. A lot of people around them that were no good for them. I'm getting heartbreaker. Fast movement. Follow your head. Excuse me, follow your heart, not your head. So, this person... Um, definitely followed their head. They were up in their head a lot, and now they're wanting to follow their heart. And they're wanting to do that now. And waiting is in reverse. This person has been trying to clean up their energy. So I'll say, see it again. They've been trying to clean up their energy. They, they, You definitely taught them a lot. They know they wasted a lot of your time. We have that in reverse. So a lot of things that they were saying were just wasting your time because they know they felt like you were too good to be true. I keep on getting too good to be true. You can't even see everything. Okay. I hope that's better. Look, Papa was a rolling stone. Yeah, they know they had to lay that motherfucking um, rolling stone to stop laying that hat down and stop pretending like everywhere was their motherfucking home. Because they know that they that you are their true love situation. And they want to give you some good news. But they see that you've been taking care of yourself. They see that you've been, you know, seeking a higher power and letting shit go and putting shit in your God box, using your God box. And they acted very stupid. This person may come in to you this summer and show gratefulness. Because they know they put you in a booty call type situation. We have the cat and mouse. The games in reverse. They don't want to play any games. Because they know that you'll expose their ass. And you're living for your abundance. And you don't have no time for that shit. You don't have no time for that shit. 
All right, let's go ahead and use the Love Angels. I'm on Romance Angels. Shuffle one more time. Okay, I'm gonna shuffle one more time. Actually, another time. Okay, what do we have here? Flirt in reverse. So, this person I feel like um, was always very flirtatious with you. And they don't want to do that shit no more. Okay, what I said at the bottom of that, getting to know each other. They want to get to know you as they're healing, healing family issues. They want to get to know you. Um, they, they're not trying to come in very flirtatious, trying to, you know, put you in this booty call type situation, trying to just be very sexual and lustful, right? They want to express their love. They know they're going to have to go ahead and make that romantic gesture and let go of control issues because this person thinks they want to control everything. There's some type of heart to heart conversation that needs to be had. And true love. We have true, true love here twice. Okay, so maybe I should switch the title as to what, what this person has been working on. Because it looks like they've been ascending. And previously, you know, they weren't too fucking honest. Just to keep it 100. They were not honest. Nine of Cups. They were very slow moving. Still are. Emperor. Will of Fortune. Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. Okay. So this person definitely wants those, um, they want to uh, continue a life cycle with you. They feel like this is a destined connection. Like I said previously, if you told them about this connection to look it up or do research or explain this connection to them, why it was so strong and why the passion was there, they definitely have looked it up and done some research. And they want to they, they know that this is a destined connection. They want to come clean with something. They don't know how you're going to take it once they tell you the truth about something. You know, about maybe a, a person that they were with and separation for you from you, somebody they were not being honest with, a relationship that they were in, maybe a child. I'm getting all of this. Um, and we're going to get some more on what they may have not been honest on in a minute. But they know that they're going to have to be brave. They know they're going to have to take some sudden action and, you know, let go of anything that no longer serves them and leave whatever they no longer want. Make that shit very motherfucking clear and leave that shit in the motherfucking past, right? Then we have the two of cups, yeah. And then after that, the four of wands. Okay, the boundaries. Okay. So then we have the two of cups. So they do want a partnership with you. They want to reconcile. They want to have this celebration with you. But I see you building your happy home, right? You're, you're not, um, you, you have this strong, steady foundation. And you're not going to let anybody in there just half-stepping. No half-stepping, right? You get no love. <coughs> Excuse me. And your boundaries are very strong at this time. That's the motherfucking truth. Your boundaries are very strong and may be very hard. It just, you may have a weak spot for this person, but you know that you fell for the okie doke more than once and you let this person just come in and apologize and not really prove shit to you. So as you have been working on yourself, you're like, hell no. I've been able to work. I'm like, we're, we're all adults here. I've been able to successfully work on myself. I ain't just going to take anything. If this person wants to come back in, they ain't about to pull at my heartstrings and tell me such and such and such. Then I did heard it all before. All of them lies, baby, this, baby, that. But your lies ain't working now. Look who's hurting now. I had to shut you down. I had to shut you down. You're, you're really like that. Played the fool before. You're like, you're not doing that shit. You're not doing it, period. They have to let go and see and be the truth. Or that's it, period. So let's see what this truth is that they need to tell you that they have been procrastinating on. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Starseed Oracle deck. Empowerment. Empowerment. 
boundaries and willpower. So I feel like the more important thing, um, even what they've been hiding from what they've been hiding from you is to stay strong within yourself and to keep your boundaries up. So before Spirit was gonna say anything about like, okay, what they've been hiding, they're gonna say, continue to work on yourself. Continue, even if this person has some type of connection with you, they have to prove that shit. Keep your boundaries up and have your willpower up. Be strong when this person comes in. Don't let them just say any old thing and because you want this connection to work so bad, you just accept that shit. No. Okay, I get that out, spirit. Okay. So what this person wants you to know is that, that there was a lot of healing that they needed to do. There was a lot of healing, healing that they needed to do um, because there was a lot of work on their self. There's a lot of child, immature, like, insecure, like, behavior, right? This person was very insecure. Um, they definitely could have had something, you know, with drinking, where they were drinking too much. Um, some type of addiction. It didn't have to be drinking, whatever. They, they, they didn't, you know, some shit that they were trying to use as a coping mechanism, but it turned into some other shit, right? Um, but they, they realized that they have to heal. Some balance needs to be had. It's like they're seeing shit completely differently. It's like they could have definitely been hiding um, some type of relationships, putting you in some type of third party. Um, I'm definitely seeing some some type of situation in the background uh, of, of, um, that they were putting their energy into. That they were putting their energy into. Dreams. Keep on getting this over and over. This person has been getting you in the 5D. They've been, you know, the 5D communication has been real with them. They, they, you know, like, and, you know, like, sometimes they have dreams about you, and it feels real. It's like you're in a spot that y'all are very both familiar with, that y'all, um, you know, have both connected um, in before, and then they wake up, and they just at home. They wake up, and they at home, and it's like, oh, shit, that shit won't real. But I want to get back to, in that energy. I want to get back in that bliss because there was a beauty in this. There was very much so a beauty in this connection and they've been getting clarity. Right? That astral traveling, that that those dreams, that, that connection on the 5D is, is all real. And they understand that they want to go ahead and burn. They want to connect with you. They want to, you know, release their inhibition. Anything that they have not been able to get off their chest, they want to go ahead and do so because you are very fertile as far as, you know, wanting to have physical children with you, it's all, you're also strong. You, you know, they see the strength in you. They, they see the strength in you and you're a person that is gonna, you're, you're just a very beautiful person inside and out. I do see somebody having some very full type lips that somebody is very attracted to. You're just very beautiful, you know, from inside out. There's some something that's very unique, very different about you. You're not giving no fucks about what, you know, you, know, you just have your own swag about you. And, and it's very beautiful. And, and this person, you know, they realize this shit. And it's even more illuminated whenever you are um, in touch with each other on the 5D. And they do want this peaceful connection with you. Because they're spirit guides, they're ancestors. There's been clues all around. There's been clues all around and, and they know that they, they need to go ahead and work on their self to get to this piece. To get to this piece. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website. Okay, and then I cut the deck. Uh, Y'all know I will stop right in the middle and be obedient. Answers. Answers. So, so they're getting a lot of answers in this 5D communication. A lot of answers are being had. And, and they know that they, they want to travel towards you. Either it's going to be a closure situation where they get everything off their chest, you know, because it's divine timing. And whenever they come in, it's, you, you have your free will. But they're hoping that you can trust the situation. And you are protected. You're protected. But always look out for your well-being. And, and you know, for to have this new beginning, it's going to be proof, not just words. That's the motherfucking truth. All right, y'all. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. For all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals, head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.